What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be doing a full SEO masterclass where I show you how to write engaging SEO optimized blog posts and articles that will rank on Google using AI. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you need to do when you're writing SEO optimized content is that you need to find a suitable keyword to go after. So there's a couple of ways in which you can go about doing keyword research. Um, if you're just starting off in a niche, you can search up that target keyword, which would be, for example, let's say phishing. Then you can head over to matching terms, an easy way to filter and find informative blog posts, topics in which you can write about is by including the keyword how to. So if you include this keyword, then um, Ahrefs is going to find keywords related to phishing that also has the keywords how to in it. So for example, we have keywords such as how to tie a phishing knot, how to hook on a phishing line, how to string a phishing pole, and so on. And if you want to, you can further filter by adding a keyword difficulty metric. So let's say we only want to find keywords that have a difficulty of 10 and lower. So you can add that filter. And as you can see here, we have some long tail keywords that we can write about that have a low keyword difficulty, but have a pretty decent search volume. So this would be perfect for you to write about if you're a newer website within the phishing niche. So the keyword how to tie two fishing lines together has a keyword difficulty of four, search volume of 1.1K, and it's mainly in the United States, Canada, and the UK, so this is a good sign. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see the SERP overview, so we'll see which websites are ranking for this specific um, keyword here. So this seems to be a pretty good keyword to go after. So once you've identified your keyword, now it's time to start priming your AI so that you can write more optimized content. For this example, I'll be using the playground mode in ChatGPT. I'll be using a combination of GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. The first thing that I've done is I've primed the AI by telling it in the system that you are an expert blog post writer. You specialize in writing high quality, engaging SEO optimized blog posts and articles. When writing, always follow these tips below. And I've included some specific SEO tips that we um, can have the AI follow. So I've told it to optimize the title and the meta tags. I've told it to include the keywords throughout the articles. I've told it to create an SEO optimized outline, um, to internal link, and to optimize for the featured snippet and add in some links and things of that nature. Now it's not gonna follow every single one of these um, instructions, but it's good to have this in there because the AI will then um, take this information and write you a much better optimized content compared to if you didn't have any of this information in the system. And I'll leave all of the prompts um, that I've used in today's video in the description below. So this is the prompt for the outline. Your first task is to write an in-depth and comprehensive blog post outline for an article about how to tie two fishing lines together. Keep in mind that this is also the target keyword that we're trying to rank for. So include it and the variations of this keyword in H1, H2, and H3 and throughout the article. So I'm priming the AI, I'm telling it that this is our target keyword and so that it includes that target keyword throughout the article. So once we're happy with our outline, we're going to go ahead and generate the outline from um, GPT-4. So while that's being generated, let's go ahead and manually grab some more outlines from Google. So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste in that keyword in which we're going after, and then we're going to go through some of the top ranked blog posts for this specific um, keyword. So the first is going to be by Wiki How, and what we're going to do is we're going to use Harpa, and Harpa AI is a free Chrome extension. So you just hit Control A and Harpa AI should pop up. And we're gonna hit page text and extract the main headlines from this article. Okay, so as you can see here, we've grabbed the main headlines. So essentially we're grabbing the outlines from one of the top ranked blog posts. And we're gonna combine that with what was generated from ChatGPT to make sure we're having one comprehensive SEO optimized outline. So just for now, we're gonna paste this in here. Um, we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna keep it in there for now. We're gonna do the same thing for um, the second blog post, which is netnots.com. So again, let's see if we can go ahead. So this looks to be more of a product page. So we're just gonna leave that as is. Okay, so this looks more like a blog post. So now we're gonna, again, do the same thing. Control A, Harpo should pop up. Then we're going to ask it to extract the outline. Okay, so again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this over, head back over to the playground mode and we're gonna paste this in here. We're just gonna do this for one more article that's ranking on the first page of Google. And boom, we're gonna copy this over again and paste this into um, ChatGPT. Now the last step in which you can do, and this is optional, you can head over to New Writer 
And New Run Writer is going to be a content optimization tool. Essentially, it allows you to further optimize your content once you've already written it um, with ChatGPT. So what we can do is we can head over to New Run Writer, start a new query. So we're going to go ahead and paste in the target keyword, which is how to tie two fishing lines together. Click start, and this is going to give us recommendations that we need to follow to rank for this specific keyword. Okay, so once that's completed, you can click on the query, and then this is where you'll be able to choose um, your competitors, and we should be good to go. Now let's go ahead and go to the next section, which is where you actually optimize your content. So the reason why we're using New Run Writer within this section is because you can actually go ahead and build your outline with New Run Writer. But essentially the first step in which we used was the manual way of doing things because we used Harpa AI, we extracted all of the information manually. But if you don't um, want to do it manually, you can head over to um, New Run Writer and create your outline in New Run Writer because it'll pull all of the information from the top ranked blog posts. In order to start building your outline, just head over to outline, which is next to terms. And this is where you can start building your outline. So you can click on H1 and you'll get an H1 there. You can click H2, H2, H2. If you want this to be an H1, again, you can make it an H1 or you can make it an H2. So you'll see the outlines of some of the top ranked blog posts on the right hand side here. So essentially you can choose which ones you want to include and you can choose which ones you don't want to include. But the first method that I showed you is a more manual way in which you can um, organize your SEO optimized um, outline. But again, this is cool because again, but this is cool because it makes it pretty easy for you to just quickly add in any of your outlines. So what you can do is you can use a combination of these methods. And if you like the outline that you generated from New and Writer, then you can just go ahead and copy this over and paste it into um, ChatGPT. So let's say, for example, we wanted to just copy this over. We can copy this, head back over to ChatGPT, and then we can paste this in here. So now we have a pretty long outline that we're going to be merging with the original outline that was created by ChatGPT. ChatGPT definitely did a good job, but they might have missed out on some outlines, especially some outlines and things that our competitors have mentioned, because if our competitors have written about a specific topic, that is a sign that we also need to include that topic within our article. So once I have all of these um, draft outlines here, I'm going to prompt the AI to combine the outline that they've created with this new outline for one comprehensive SEO optimized outline. So I've told it to combine the above outline with the outlines below for one SEO optimized comprehensive blog post outline. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll see the output that we're able to get back here. So again, as you can see, the AI is working. It is um, taking the first outline and combining it with the second outline and we can see the H1s and the H2s. So while that's being done, I'm going to head back over to some of the top ranked blog posts that we were um, extracting the outlines for. And now I'm gonna extract some of the main keywords. So again, I'm using Harpa AI and I've told it to extract the main keywords, LSI keywords and related keywords from this blog post. Okay, so the full outline has been completed. We see the H1, H2, H3, um, and then we have the Q&A section, H2 again, and we have some related articles, some references, things in which you'll need and a call to action and a conclusion. So a pretty detailed outline here, and it definitely includes all of the main information that you need to include for this specific keyword. So now it's time to write the full article, and this is the prompt in which I'll be using. I've told it to write a full in-depth article using the outline above, include lists, facts, tables when applicable, always write in markdown and write in simple, easy to read tone, and um, keep in mind the target keyword, so include this keyword and variations of that keyword um, naturally throughout the article. I've also told it that here are some of the keywords to include naturally throughout the article and I'm going to paste in some of the keywords that we got back from the top ranked blog post. Okay, so let's paste that in there. Hopefully we haven't used too much of the prompt and we have some token left over. So let's go ahead and now run this full um, prompt and we should have a nice SEO optimized article. Okay, so as we can see, the content is being written and I told it to include a table of contents. So it's actually going ahead and creating the table of contents first and then it's going to write the full article. So this is the full article that's been completed. Let's go ahead and quickly take a look at it and look at the word count. So it does seem to be a little bit short, but we can simply just go ahead and expand this article and um, keeping every you know thing intact, we should still be able to get a longer article that's more SEO optimized. So if you want to expand this article, this is the prompt that which you could use. The prompt that you can use is you can tell the AI to expand this article, keep the same format style of writing, just include more relevant information 
tips, examples related to this blog post topic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use GPT 3.5 because GPT 4 has already done a good job at setting up this article and GPT 3.5 Turbo has a much longer token limit. So that means that it's going to be less costly, but also GPT 3.5 Turbo will be able to still read all of the information that we've done before. So we should be able to get a much longer piece of article. So this is the full extended blog post in which we're able to get back from ChatGPT. As you can see, it's a lot longer, a lot more in depth and a lot better than the first output that we got back. So if you want to get longer SEO optimized content, just go ahead and tell it to expand this article, but keep the same format and style of writing so you won't lose any of your SEO work that you've done before. Because this is an HTML, we need to go ahead and convert that. And this is what the full article looks like. It's about 2,500 words, which is pretty long. And we have the table of contents here. We have the intro, the H1s, H2s, H3s, and so on. And you get some nice lists. It's well formatted and it looks really, really good. So that's the full article. Now let's go ahead and pop this into New and Writer to see the content optimization score. So I've already went ahead and pasted this into New and Writer. And as you can see here, we have a content optimization score of 73. I pasted in a little bit earlier and it was 70 and I had to add in some keywords into our H1 tags. I had to also go ahead and add in a title and a meta description. And I was able to generate that title and meta description um, using ChatGPT. So essentially what I did was I told ChatGPT to create me an SEO title and meta description based on the target keyword. And it was able to do that for me. And then I pasted that into New and Writer. So as you can see, just from doing the work up front, we were able to get a much more SEO optimized piece of content. If we just told the AI to write a blog post on how to tie two fishing lines together, I guarantee you, you wouldn't be able to get such a high optimization score. And now what you can do is you can do some manual optimizations if you like to increase this number. But um, right off the bat, we're already higher than the average and higher than the number one blog post for this specific keyword in terms of content optimization. So you should feel pretty confident that if you post this on your blog post, you will be able to rank for the target keyword in which you're going after. So this is the format that you need to follow if you want to rank AI content. You can't just tell the AI to write you an article. Um, you need to actually go ahead and prime the AI. You need to use Harper AI to extract outlines, extract keywords and feed that into ChatGPT. And then when you combine that with expanding the content, you're about to get much longer SEO optimized content. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new and I hope that you can apply these principles into your blog writing techniques to write more SEO optimized content and start ranking on Google. If you did enjoy today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.